Hey guys, welcome to another Game Gengo N3 Grammar video. In this video, we're going to be covering Itai, Janai, Ipoda, and Ka Nanika. This video is brought to you by all of the wonderful supporters on Patreon. So if you like this kind of video, make sure to like, subscribe, share the video, and if you want to join us on the Game Gengo Discord community, then join us on Patreon. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here we have Ittai, and this is used before a question to express an emphasis on that question. This makes the question stronger. Kind of like how what in the world or what on earth does to questions in English, like how it expresses a strong surprise, confusion, or disbelief. Ittai with questions is very much the same way. Now, you may see this written simply in hiragana, or you might see it with kanji, just like we have here. So it's worthwhile getting used to both forms. So let's say you see someone doing something quite strange, and you feel a simple nani o shiteimasu ka, what are you doing, doesn't really suffice. You want to be stronger. You could give a ittai nani o shiteimasu ka. This expresses an absolute confusion or surprise at the other person's action. So like here seen in Berserk, Guts is more than surprised at the weird thing that Griffith is holding. Instead of just saying, what's that? He's like, what the hell is that? What in the world is that? So, as we just saw, Ittai is used as emphasis on a question, kind of like what in the world, what on earth? Like in, what in the world is that? What in the world happened? Who in the world are you? Or even to make a question a bit stronger, like seen in what kind of place exactly is this place? So just remember that ittai is used with questions to add emphasis to that question. It makes it stronger. Next we have Janai, and this is used after a phrase to question or confirm an idea that's been stated. It could be literally translated as won't, isn't it, or aren't when used with a question, as that's where it literally comes from. Janai comes from Dewanai, it is not. So like in English, isn't that polo, poro janai? And here, you're either confirming something or expressing surprise to something. Like I'm asking for your confirmation. That's polo, right? So like seen here in Naruto, Orochimaru says, wouldn't it be better to not know? So here he's confirming information. This can also be used to express a certain level of uncertainty, like with maybe or most likely. Let's have a look at some more examples and see how this can be used. So <laughs> だから夜ハブ隊が暴走して。いや、汚染されているのはお前たちじゃないのか。何をしていたのか聞いても教えてくれないし。今もね、もう帰ってこないんじゃないかと心配で。現在地は地球ゴールドコードという街なり、この石危
So as we saw, it can be used as a confirmation of information like isn't it, wouldn't it, or aren't you? Like in Nier Automata, aren't you guys actually the ones who are contaminated? Like we saw in Kingdom Hearts, we can see that expression of uncertainty like maybe. Kaite konain janai kato shinpai. Worried that maybe he won't come back. Which you could look at literally as I'm worried that isn't it that he won't return. You can see that this is still connected to isn't it. People who think wouldn't it be better to throw away this dangerous stone? Won't they end up getting angry? And even I guess you'd be more knowledgeable in something. Here we can see it used in both ways. And then finally, doesn't that guy look kind of homeless? It's fine, right? So we can see that this janai, often sometimes seen as just jane in casual speech, or even jan, like in the Tokyo dialect. We can see that janai is used to put a question towards something, get confirmation, or even show a level of uncertainty. <laughs> Here we have a pretty straightforward piece of grammar, ippoda, and this is used after verbs in the dictionary form to express that verb continuing to occur. This can be used for both good outcomes and bad outcomes, as opposed to a similar expression, bakarida, which can only be used with negative changes. Ipporda is usually seen with verbs like go up, go down, increase, decrease, get better, get worse, and so on. So just like we can see here in Persona 4, the looks and the vibes just keep getting worse. <sighs> そうですか。仲間探しですか。so, as we just saw, ipporda can be used after a verb to show that verb continuing to occur. Whether something keeps on getting worse and worse, someone's income continuing to decrease, the forest only gets rougher and rougher, the number of patients would have only kept increasing, and even that the situation just kept getting worse. We can see that in all of these situations, ippo da or even ippo data is used after a verb to show that verb continuing to progress, continuing to increase, continuing to decrease, continuing to get better, or even continuing to get worse. Here we have ka nanika, and this follows nouns when you're not clearly stating one noun, but kind of giving a possible suggestion, often seen translated as or something. Like for example, pizza ka nanika tabetai desu. I want to eat pizza or something. Here we can see that pizza is not the only thing I want to eat, I'm just giving one possible example. And so just like we have here in Metal Gear Solid, the colonel is saying there should be a C4 bomb or something there. So he's saying that you need to find an explosive and something like a C4 bomb will do, but something else would also do. You can see that it's used to give one possible example.多分酔っ払いかなんかに壊されたんだけど。そう。操作令状か何かある。もちろん。ない。はい、ドアどこ?ああ、知らん。ドライブ、ドライブ。これって何か最新モデルか何か。あそこに行ける道具か何かが見つ
it was probably broken by a drunk or something? Do you have a search warrant or something? Is this a new model type or something? Maybe we can find tools or something. And even this isn't some sort of trap or something, is it? So we can see in all of these situations, the ka nanika is following a noun that you've given as a possible example. Another thing we've noticed with these examples is there is actually two different ways you'll see this being used. There is the more formal ka nanika, and there is also ka nanka. This is a more casual form. This is exactly the same expression, it's just more casual. You can see this both with kanji or with just hiragana. Ka nanika is used to offer up a possible example for something. And there we have it, yet another N3 Game Gengo grammar video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helps you guys get more familiar with how these pieces of grammar are used. As always, an enormous thank you to all of the supporters on Patreon for helping support the channel. And if you want to join us on the Game Gengo Discord community, then feel free to come join us on Patreon. Thank you very much guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.